Hi guys, my name is Kimberly Woods, a canoe slalom athlete going to my first Olympic Games this summer. This is my third Team GB Destination Tokyo vlog and I just want to chat to you a little bit around what my training has been like on the last couple of months since my last video. Um, the last video I introduced you to my teammates, Mallory Franklin and Adam Burgess, and we're in the same training group together and all going to our first Olympic Games. So over the last couple of months, we haven't had any competitions. We've been constantly having to try and change our training plans because of cancellations of training camps for Tokyo. Uh, we were supposed to be going in the middle of May and then that got cancelled and but postponed to uh, a month before the games itself. So we're actually gonna be going out there for a longer period of time than originally planned. So it kind of worked out for, for all of us. Um, we've seen other nations be competing um, at their home, home countries and selecting their Olympic boats. It's just been really exciting to see who I'll be competing against. Other than that, yeah, we've had a few race simulations ourselves. Um, it's not quite a race, it's just kind of like a ramped up training session where we put number boards on and from the outside it would look like a race um, but it's not, it's, it's just like the programme athletes because of the elite athlete exemption and being able to access the White Water Centre. race simulations um, doing all right but there's in really heavy block of training at the minute so I'm, I'm working really hard and I'm getting fit and I'm keeping healthy um, which is the main priority at the minute thankfully at the start of May um, we'll be heading out to Italy and doing Covid tests left right and centre to make sure that everyone on the team is safe yeah got a lot of rules in place gonna have masks all the time um, even in and around the hotel just to make sure that we are safe but yeah, so training has been going really, really well. I've been getting really strong in the gym. Got a lot of PBs um, at chin-ups, on bench press and bench pull. Like, getting really strong. I'm the strongest I've ever been. I'm the lightest I've ever been. And I'm just so excited to get out on the white water and out at an international start line. Um, any start line would be good. But unfortunately, in, in the UK, we won't have any um, until probably post the Olympic Games. But other than that, preparations are going pretty well. For Tokyo and plans have been changed constantly but we're adapting and th that's what this sport is about and um, adapting to the white water and what's in front of you and taking one gate at a time I guess in Covid cases at this point it is taking one one day at a time and one week at a time um, and just adapting to whatever it is thrown at us people have been able to access the white water centre now uh, which is really cool having just normal people walking up and down the bank during our training session and it kind of makes you feel a bit more normal and, and things are looking a lot positive but it's hard to forget that everywhere else in the world is in, in as an unfortunate position as we are um, so we do have to be careful when we do go away well guys thank you so much for watching the video i really hope you enjoyed it go and subscribe to the team gb's youtube channel but also to mine you can follow me and my journey along to the olympic games um, this summer on all of my social media channels. I'll pop them up here. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to racing again. I'm out here in Italy now and I can't wait to sit on an international start line. I can't wait to sit on a start line, let alone an international start line. And just to kind of see where you're at with the field. It's been so long, you take a lot of confidence from racing. So I'm looking to just take more confidence from this because I've learned to take confidence from my training and that's all I've had. So. Just be able to have a race uh, is going to be absolutely incredible and I can't wait. Um, so if you want to follow along, go to my social media. But yeah, like and subscribe and follow all of the other guys' journeys to the Olympic Games too. You know, we're all on this journey together. We want to bring you guys uh, along with us. So take care of everyone and stay positive. <laughs>